guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit that like button of this video as well as leave a comment down below because all of those things do help my channel grow. Before I move too far in, I also want to remind you, or if you haven't heard yet about Frugal J, she is currently in Chicago. She lives in Florida because her son was in an accident and she wants to be there for him and support him as he works towards recovery and goes through recovery and so she's not currently working so if you haven't started watching her videos yet you should head over to her channel give her videos a watch if you didn't know the way youtubers make their money is by viewers watching the ads letting them run through and they get a little bit more money if you actually click the ads and so if you could head over to jay's channel and let her ads run through help her earn a little bit of revenue here on youtube because that's the way she's supporting herself right now she also has a GoFundMe. I have that link down below in the description box if that is something that you're interested in. Nothing's required, but you know, just want to put the word out there. And if you don't want to do any of those things, if you just keep her in your thoughts and prayers and send her love, you know, just put out the love for her so that her son can continue to move forward and get better and that she, you know, is having some peace and stuff as she goes through that hard time. Because being a mom, I just can't even. I just can't fathom having to go out through what she's going through right now and I love her dearly she has the best heart so I just want to put that out there before I fully get started again I wanted to show you guys my uh, 1500 subscriber giveaway prize um, if you remember if you were watching when I was doing that it was a collaboration that my best friend and I put together that she has a business it's linked down in my description box below called genuinely created she has what's called a glow forge and it like etches or I don't know it burns things into wood um, and she makes some of the coolest things like some of the coolest things she made me a cool little thing I can't share it yet because she hasn't given it to me she's using it as a demo piece first but she showed it to me the other day when I saw her and it was beautiful so I can't wait to share that with you but I wanted to share with you what she created for my giveaway winner and it's this big cutting board this did come from Dollar Tree it was only five dollars and I worked with Carol on what she wanted to be on her prize and she chose a sunflower and we looked through some designs and this is what was created and Jen put it on the board and it looks absolutely beautiful like so pretty and this board is huge you know from the Dollar Tree so like it's a nice big cutting board we did her last name with the sunflower it's gorgeous and then to go along with it carefully set that down they're all in a bag because they're really sharp are these charcuterie tools and they're really sharp I want to package them up nicely but we also put on there a W with some sunflowers to match so she has this really pretty serving set that she can use in any way she wants really and so Carol I will be getting it packed up and shipped off to you here shortly hopefully this week if not by next week because this week's pretty busy um, but we have those all done I want to still find a few more things to toss in there because I don't think that's enough for a giveaway prize so I'll still be trying to pick up a few things I was really focused on my Easter baskets up until this week when they're finally all done I hope you guys are able to go watch that video of me like showing them I guess I didn't show you putting them together but it was so fun I was kind of it's both relaxing or like like a, a thing off my shoulders that they're done but I'm also a little bit sad about it because I was really enjoying putting together those baskets and having their creative ideas of like the themes of them and stuff so I really enjoyed it uh, my husband and I went and dropped them off at the end of last week and the organization was kind of in awe she was like oh my gosh you know with all these baskets so that was really nice to see I wish I could see the kiddos receive them like I just feel like like that would be such an amazing thing to see their faces but I just I I'm pretty sure that they're happy with it so that's exciting now this is a really long intro so let me get into the Dollar Tree haul I finally now just have regular Dollar Tree stuff just regular old stuff stuff that I've needed stuff for happy mail that I'm collecting my youngest Eric his birthday is coming up in May so I'm starting to plan that birthday party it's army themed like army man army themed and Dollar Tree just doesn't have a lot there but I got a few things that I'm going to use from Dollar Tree and so I guess let me get started first this is big and heavy 
but I found the Evian sparkling water and I found it where they're giving the six packs for $1.25. So I did find this once. I didn't haul it because I drank it and it was a single can. So one of my stores broke them up singly and I had one for $1.25. I didn't like it very much, but I gave it to my son who loves mint because this is cucumber mint flavored and he loved it. He's like, oh, do you have more? And I didn't at the time. But when I found the six packs for $1.25, I picked up three of them for him because... I mean, it's water and it has magnesium and zinc in it. So it's got those healthy minerals and he really enjoyed it. So I got these for Braxton. Like I said, he loves mint, like mint flavored things are his jam. So he's going to be really excited to know that I picked all those up for him. Here is the third. Ugh, I got other stuff in that bag though. So three of those for him. He's going to be excited. When I found those, I also found these drink mixers. And so if you don't know, I have another channel. It's called Amber's Losing It. I am following the Weight Watchers program and kind of trying to document it a little bit on, on YouTube and stuff. And so these mixers are nice because they are zero calories and sugar free. And so on the, the meal plan that I'm doing, it is... Um, everything has a point value and these would be zero points and so I don't drink a lot alcohol all has points so like a shot of alcohol would but I don't know if there's a way to maybe like be creative and have like a fancy like even like in my sparkling water like to add you know make it a little fancy so I picked up the strawberry margarita the regular margarita and the mojito I mean I'll give them a try. What's the worst that's going to happen? I'm not going to like them, but I thought that those would be fun to try out. And then lastly, in this bag in the food section, I got some other food items, but I decided to try this downtown spicy brown mustard. And again, this would be zero points on my Weight Watchers diet, so I thought it would be nice to try. I tend to like spicy mustard on like sandwiches and stuff, and so... Why not try it for the dollar twenty-five? I saw the honey mustard and I think a regular mustard in this brand, and so there was just like a nice selection of of mustards. But I picked up the spicy mustard because it's just kind of what tickled my fancy at the time. My son Braxton, he is loving baking his own muffins in the morning for breakfast, and he baked them all up. We don't have any more, so I picked up some more uh, muffins for him. There is the chocolate chip, if I remember correctly. Yep, so it makes uh, six muffins per pack. And so he will make them, he'll have like two breakfasts because he'll do one one morning, like three of them one morning and three another because he'll typically eat three. And then I got the blueberry and the banana nut. And these ones are all the Betty Crocker brand. Sometimes they have the, I think it's Murray calendars maybe it's another brand of muffins but this is what I found at that store that day I also found these jelly bellies drink mixes and my son loves to put these in water and so I figured why not so for one pack it is five calories zero sugars and just all the you know flavorings and so it's very blue or very cherry the packaging's fun because it's Jelly Belly. And so I have a drawer in the kitchen here where it has um, a bunch of these different little, little mixes for him and he'll pick one out and mix it with his water. So I thought he'd enjoy trying those out. And I know that there's some other snacks somewhere. They're all mixed in, of course. The other snack for my son again, I feel like everything is pretty much for my kiddo for the most part. He loves these freeze dried apple slices he loves them he when he was with me picked out three he's already eaten them all so I think I picked him up three more if I remember correctly so that like he likes to eat them as like an after school snack and so I you know they're apples they're apples so why not right for $1.25 and he loves them so I picked those up now I think that's all the food but I'm not making any promises because who knows what else I'll find in these bags I finally found I was so excited guys when I found the flamingo, I found the flamingo little planter, right? Like, I think they just call them planters. I don't know if they even call them, yeah, just animal planters. I was thinking succul 
succulent planter but just a little planter and it's the flamingo so excited i have not even opened it yet to actually look at her make sure she's all intact oh my gosh it's so cute look how cute that is for a dollar 25 and I picked up this succulent to put in there. Oh, I have to have my husband cut it down because it's too long. But I'm going to put this one because this matches my house. And flamingos are my jam. Flamingos, palm trees, and pineapples. I just love them all. And that is going to just look so pretty for the summer or now because we're close enough. Oh, that makes me so happy. I love it. So I got those two just to be some decor around the house. Probably maybe on my desk. We'll see. Uh, a couple Easter items, just some random ones that I found when I was shopping through the Easter. Some of the stuff I bought when I was buying Easter basket stuff, that's why some of it's like kind of even a surprise to me. Because when I was shopping for my Easter baskets, this is stuck in here. I don't know what's going on. Um, I was hauling all that to get it all done with. And so these bags kind of got set to the side. So I found the Carrot Garland. Um, they're six feet. And it's, um, let's see, Tuesday and Easter's on Sunday. So if I want to use this this year, I need to get it up because we're just about there. And then I think I'm just going to jump right into summer decor instead of spring. Like there's spring in there, I know, but I think I like summer decor so much. I'm just going to jump right into summer. So tell me, what, what do you do after Easter? Or do you do Easter? Or do you just hold spring? When do you go from spring decor to summer decor? Like when's your switch over? For that. Anywho, so I got those garlands. I think they're really cute. I picked up these little carrot stickers because I have a sticker problem. They're little felt stickers and you get nine of them in there. I don't even know what I'm going to do with those. I just have a sticker problem so when I see them I pick them up. And then I had gotten this ribbon. I Was it this one? I think I got this one and used it on um, baskets. I might not have. I can't remember now. But it says Cottontail Carrot Patch. And I thought that was really cute. I also have a problem with ribbon because I buy it because I think it's really cute and neat. And then I never use it for anything. I just have it. Some, I mean, sometimes it gets used. But let me see if I have any other Easter stuff hiding in here. That might be it. I might have I might have refrained from picking up too much Easter because... Oh, I have more food. Um, you know, it's like almost Easter. Like it's just about time. In the summer section, I had picked these up and I got them for one of my Easter baskets that I made for outside toys, but I thought my kids would probably really like these. They're just called sand toys. They're like little molds. So during the summer, we have boats and that's multiple, but one that we take out on the water, one that's a pro two, two that are project boats and one that's a fish, little teeny fishing boat that I don't get on, but my husband has it. So we have one pontoon that we take out on the water and we have kayaks that we like to go out on. And some of our reservoirs in the area have like little beaches that you can play on. So the kids like to play in the sand it is the moral of that really long story. And I picked up the sandcastle buckets for them and I thought that they would probably just like this too because when they were playing in the sand, they wanted more sand toys last year. And for $1.25, why not pick them up a couple sand toys? These I searched and searched for last year and I couldn't find them. My husband and I went to Florida and I may have accidentally grabbed a little bit of sand. I, not much. I don't even think it would fill this whole bottle up. And I don't know if this is exactly going to work because I got more seashells than sand. But I really think that these are gorgeous. It says sand from my favorite beach. But the problem is, is you couldn't really fit the seashells in there with it. And that's kind of where I was going with with it. Like a little layer of sand, but then seashells and I like this one because I like the color of that um so and I know it's taking sand off the beaches I researched it it's not great if everyone did it there would not be enough sand or something like it, it's eating away at the, the the banks and stuff but I got more seashells so anyway we're going to Costa Rica this summer so I don't know about sand, but like I want to have something and like label them, but I might just get regular jars for that because yeah, that's a lot of thought process all at once. And I haven't told you guys yet, my husband and I booked 
a couple trip, just the two of us to celebrate our anniversary to Port Puerto Vallarta to Mexico in August, at the very end of August. So I have a beach filled summer that I am so excited about because I love going to the beach and the water and all the tropical things. So we have two trips this summer that I get to go on to see the beautiful water. And that one, the resort's right on the beach. Uh, we have a balcony that we get to just stare at the ocean. And Puerto Vallarta is not on the hurricane side, so that was good. Um, I picked up some gum. I'm putting this in some Happy Mail. I have several Happy Mail packages that are just like, they all got put on hold because of Easter baskets. So I need to get them sent out because I have baskets full of stuff. But I keep buying more for them. So I got this for some Happy Mail that I'm gonna add to it. Same with this, and I think I have another one. If I, did, I can't remember if I hauled one of them already. I have two of these because two people told me that they hadn't found them yet and they wanted to try them out. So I picked two of these up for Happy Mail. I don't know, like I said, I might have, nope, found it. I found them at two different stores, so. I am very all over the place this haul. Like I forgot how to do it. So I got both of those for Happy Mail. I haven't tried mine yet. I don't know if they work well or not. I need to give it a try though here soon. Um, in the toy section, I had hauled one of these for one of my um, Easter baskets because I did like a doll themed one and included some Barbie stuff. But I got this one for Lorelai. I feel like she would like this a lot. And I got some of the little Chelsea backpacks and stuff as well. So I'm gonna put all these in her Easter basket so that she can play with them. I am super curious like what this looks like inside, but because I wanna give it to her for Easter, I'm not gonna open it up because that would be silly. Um, Hot Wheels are back in my store and I do know that like I shouldn't pay $1.25 because I can find them for a dollar elsewhere. But I feel like that's important if it's not finding ones that I really want. And so this was on my wish list. My best friend's son, his favorite color is pink. Like he loves, loves, loves pink and he loves vehicles. And I had hauled one of these in the past because I gave one to Lorelei a while back. Or I intended to because it might be in my box of Lorelei stuff. I have a whole box of stuff for the kids like I pull for like holidays and stuff. So I can't remember if she ended up with this yet or not. Anywho, I wanted to get this one for Dylan, my best friend's son, because... One, my best friend saw that one on the hall and she's like, if you see one of those again, can you grab it for Dylan? And I said, absolutely. So I did. So the $1.25 is worth it because it's something that he's going to love. This one was Mickey's Steamboat. Is that what it's called? Yep, Disney Steamboat. And I know one of my kiddos already has this. I think Eric does. And so then I would think that this one would be for Braxton because he likes old school Mickey. And I'm pretty sure Eric's the one that ended up with the one that was already found. And so I wanted to get the other one. This one I just liked. I thought it was adorable little Volkswagen Beetle. And so I picked that one up. Funny thing though, then I saw it at Target afterwards, like after I spent $1.25, but you know it is what it is. This, because Braxton currently is obsessed with Minecraft. I don't know obsessed. He goes back and forth about Minecraft. But he likes Minecraft and Hot Wheels, so... I thought he can use that. He has like little figurines and stuff and they can fit in there and like ride on that when he plays with his Minecraft. So I'll probably stick that in his Easter basket. And then guys, my wish list item, if you didn't hear me talking about them, I was searching and searching and searching for the Tesla Cybertruck and I found two at one store and I haven't found any more since then. But the good news is, is we had previously found one, but way back last summer when we went to Florida, so that's how I knew they existed, that there was, we had one from there, and then my husband found one more from Target. So we have four Tesla Cybertrucks now. So all four of my children, so my three kids and my husband, now all get to have a Cybertruck. And so I'm gonna put one in each of their Easter baskets so that they each get the Tesla Cybertruck now that I can finally give them to them because I got one for each of the kids because they all wanted it. So that is good news. I picked this up for Lorelai. She was complaining the other day that she can't find any of her wallets and she doesn't know who did what with them because it's not her and her messy room. They've just disappeared. But I picked this up for her because it's a cute little kitty cat wallet or like coin purse and so she can't find a wallet, but she can definitely use that to put her money in. Although she did spend all her money recently. So when she gets more, she can put it in there. This was in my 
Dollar Tree Plus section. So most of my Dollar Trees now keep converting to the plus. There's only a few left that don't have it. And I was in that aisle looking for Easter basket stuff. And I found this Harry Potter capsule thing. And it has eight bag tags to collect. Limited edition is Hedwig, I think. Um, but, you know, he loves Harry Potter. So I was going to put this in his Easter basket because I think that he will like that. And it was $5 in the plus section. I found another Charlie Brown book that I don't think I picked this one up the first go round because I didn't see it. And this is going in some happy mail for someone that loves Charlie Brown. And I have not sent out happy mail yet. So I was able to pick up another one when I saw it. So that is for happy mail. I think that might be all of the toys. Kind of. Except for that, those toys are separated out. Doesn't it crack you up when people bag things, but they like don't put like things together? I don't understand. So the other day, if you're on my Instagram, you saw the other day I went to Dry Queen Bingo. I had actually used that pink shampoo in my hair um, or pink conditioner from Dollar Tree and it did give my hair a nice pink tint. It was even darker than I was expecting that it was going to come out because I used it in the shower on wet hair and if you read the back of it, it says for better results, use it on dry hair, let it sit. I think they said like five to 20 minutes and so I was in the shower. I had wet hair. I kept it on probably like the five minutes on my wet hair and I think in this lighting you can see a little bit of the pink tint still um, but it also washed out pretty quickly of my hair. Um, I am a daily hair washer. I've mentioned that before um, and I'm actually like the first wash like a big chunk of the pink was gone and so you can't I mean, you can kind of see it, but um, I am glad actually that it washed out really fast because that means if I ever decide I want pink hair, like it's not going to linger too long. I can just do it for whatever the reasoning I want to do it is. Anywho, the point of that story was Drag Queen Bingo. I am donating a bunch of stuff to put in their prize bags because they always have a charity. They buy their own stuff that they put in these prize bags that they give out for winning, you know, bingo. And so I wanted to donate some stuff to them. So I've been slowly collecting some stuff and I picked up these little chickens because I just thought that they'd be perfect, I guess. One is, um, so they have the drag queen bingos who are the drag queens and then they have the sisters of something that like come in and help them. And one of them carries around a little chicken who makes these really annoys annoying sounds. Okay, disclaimer, I'm going to push one of these. It's going to be loud and obnoxious. So I'm going to give you a second if you want to push mute. So they sound like that. Now my dogs are running because they heard that. Um, and so I just thought that the, this would be fun in the the bags that they could put some in there. Or the, the drag queens, people can just keep them themselves. So I picked those up to donate for that. And then I think think lastly for anything semi-toy related I picked up this book um, I've picked this up once before I hauled it and then I got this I got one for Eric it's probably gonna, I'm gonna do some books in their Easter baskets so I'm gonna figure out which books are going in their Easter baskets but um, I have my nephew who I'm making a little basket for so my newest baby niece Max was born she was born really early I never got her basket made I'm still kind of working on it and then I want to do one for her big brother and I thought that this would be fun in his. And so I'm doing a lot of books. They do a lot of reading. Their mom, their family, they're not big on stuff, like mater material items, which I can completely understand and respect. And so I'm like, oh, if I get some good books for him, then it's reading. So it's like smart stuff and not just stuff. So I picked this book up for him because I thought it was fun when I picked it up for Eric. A lot of weird, funny facts about animals and stuff. So I picked that up. Um, I picked up some napkins. Boring. I know we just needed more. These are the best ones, but they run out really fast because you only get 50 in here. And the way my messy family is, I feel like we go through them too darn fast, but I like them a lot. Braxton needed some toothpaste. He said, I don't remember what I usually get him, but I got him the Aquafresh fluoride toothpaste in Cool Mint because he likes minty things. So I grabbed that. I needed some more dental floss sticks. Um, I don't know what you call them. Yeah, floss picks. Oh, picks, not sticks. 
So these ones are charcoal infused, peppermint flavored, and you get 75. I picked them up because it was the most. All the other ones you got 60 in there. This one you got 75. So I grabbed that. Now let me see. I have some more things, but I think I might wait until the next haul because... Oh, let me show these ones real fast because it's just a lot of stuff and I'm coming up on the kind of my time and I just want to make sure it's nothing I need to like use right away, you know? I picked up a handful of cards. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, I think all, almost all three of them. A lot of them are for Jay. Um, I just wanted to just send her some love. I'm working on some happy mail for her, but I have not finished that yet. So I wanted to send some card of love. Um, in the meantime, so I grabbed some cards to send to her and then this one I thought was really fun It's for a teacher. So I thought I would give one because I really love Braxton's teacher this year And so this one says never under uh, Never underestimate the power of a caring teacher for all you do for just being you Thank you because I just don't know if teachers are appreciated quite enough. I know that there's teacher appreciation I think it's week and I think it's coming up because I know it's close to the end of the school year because I'm just never on time for teacher appreciation week. So I end up just giving an end of the year gift um, is kind of where I end up with it because I never have time. Uh, I picked up this little roll of fabric. They call it craft fabric and it's in sunflowers. And I was going to add this into my giveaway winning with the cutting board and stuff because Carol loves sunflowers. And so it made me think of her when I was at the store. Um, I am not creative enough to do anything with it before I mail it off. Fabric, I like look at them and sometimes I've picked them up, but I'm just not a fabric doer, so I didn't know what to do with it. So I'm going to add that in there in case she has any good ideas to do that with her board and stuff. And guys, that's where I'm going to end today's haul. I do have a few more things, but not probably quite enough for haul. And I need to go shopping because I need to finish my kids' Easter baskets. Like, I need to get the baskets and probably a little bit of candy and stuff. So I'm going to sort through what I have for them already and go shopping. And then later this week, I will show you what I pick up for them. Thank you so, so much for being here with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I have missed you guys. Um, I'm glad that I'm not so basket focused because, you know, there was a lot of Easter baskets. I got a lot of cool stuff though. Um, don't forget to hit the like button of this video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you guys later this week. Bye.